Hey, fifth or eighth. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Bruce, and uh, I am the fifth or eighth intern down at South Campus. And uh, I actually have to start this off with an apology. Uh, the reason why I didn't have a Devo yesterday was all my fault, and I am super sorry about that. Uh, I felt bad once I realized as soon as I messed up. Uh, so I hope you can forgive me for that. Uh, but I hope this finds you uh, well whenever you are uh, listening to this and watching this. So this whole week we've been looking at the uh, people that Jesus appeared to and talked to when he rose again. So Jesus has died and is now risen and he's appeared to certain people to give them the final maybe word of encouragement or to give them restoration or to make them actually see, yeah, no, I'm alive. And so the final final thing we, we see him do and the final uh, group of people he appears to is to all of the believers that he's had. And it's found in Matthew uh, 28. So uh, go grab your Bibles or if, you're in, if you have your Bibles, uh, turn to Matthew 28. And it's going to be verses 16 through 20. Just look for the uh, little heading that says the Great Commission. So let, let's just go ahead and read that. It says, Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you to the end of the age. So there's a little context for this. Uh, these are the final words of Jesus before he's about to ascend and go up to heaven. Uh, my favorite story happens in Acts, or my just a funny story happens in Acts after this, and it opens up, and the, the people are still looking up in the sky, and angels come to them. It's like, what are you doing? He, he's going to come back, but you, you know he's going to come back. You don't need to stay here and waiting. And so, but all that be said, this is right before that happens. And before Jesus uh, leaves this earth to go and be with his father in heaven. Uh, and so I cherish these words for that because it's Jesus' last words and uh, they hold super importance in, in my mind and in my heart. So let's look at what he says to do or, or what, what he says. The first thing he says is that all authority and uh, heaven and on earth has been given to me. Authority is this word that gets thrown around a lot. Y'all probably think of it as like, oh yeah, my parents or adults have authority. But it basically is just someone who has the right to tell us what to do. Usually they, they have the right because they have the experience and they have the uh, expertise in that. And Jesus has the authority in this because he is the only one to live this kind of life, to live this new resurrection, new glorified body, life. And so and, and he just defeated sin and death and is now living in this new life. And so it's like, hey, I am the only one with the expertise and experience on how to do this. And I have all authority now. And what I want you to do is what he says in verse 19, to go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. That is quite a bit. I mean, look at it. It's to go make disciples of all nations, to go and teach and to tell everyone about Jesus to all nations. Don't know about you, that sounds kind of rough and hard because it's, there's language barriers, there's uh, all these different barriers that we can come up with. But Jesus tells us to go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to teach them all that I have commanded you. To, so to take all of this and to teach that to them. This seems like a heavy and big task to, to carry. And to carry on our own, I think it'd be too much. But that's why I love what Jesus' his final words are actually to us. And it says, Behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Jesus probably knew the anxiety and the fears and the worries that the disciples had with him leaving. 
and he's telling them, hey, I'm going to be with you always to the end of the age. Yes, I'm going to be with the Father, but I'm also going to be with you in the Holy Spirit, and I'm going to be with you to the end of the age. I'm not leaving you alone. I'm not leaving you with this big task that I expect you to do, uh, and I'm going to come back and check up on you, but I'm going to be with you. I'm going to help you through it. So just take encouragement in that this week, guys. Like, Jesus, yes, does command a lot of us in his final words, but he also gives us so much more encouragement to go uh, to go and make disciples, but to also realize that he's going to be with us always to the end of the age. Hope this finds you well. Love y'all. See ya.